Hi guys, so today we're gonna try to use uh, GrabCAD to get some really good models. Um, here I have a free uh, HDMI adapter. This is pure CAD, so it's designed uh, as uh, the normal standards. So my goal here is to, um, to 3D print this with the Formlabs Form 1 Plus to show you how you can actually use it for trying out not only your um, normal 3D printed parts, but actually CAD data that is um, uh, that has the correct measurements. So in this case I just used Geomagic to um, convert it into STL. You can do that in any other uh, software. Here I'm using NetFab Studio to just repair some, some STL issues. The model itself wasn't really perfect for, for 3D printing, as a lot of CAD models are. So usually I use NetFab Studio Basic, which is a free software, to just clean the models or repair them before printing. Um, so after that we go into the preform software, uh, which is the, the preparation for, uh, for Formlabs 3D printers. Um, what do we want to start off with is just orientate the model, uh, generate some support material. In this case I actually want to have two of them, just so I can have one extra. Um, if I break it, if it doesn't work, I want to have two of them. Um, then you press the layout to help you calculate the best positions for the models, generate some support material. Um, so you want to have low point size, so it has a really small um, connection with the real model. And then a little bit thicker density, because there's a lot of small parts. There's a few red areas, but I, I believe it's going to be okay anyways. So after that we let the machine uh, or the software position the model. And then we go, so we just click 3D print. In this case, I don't have any 3D printer connected. Here you can see the, the details of these parts. It's actually going to be quite interesting. Uh, we're printing in 0 0.005 millimeters, which isn't really max. Unfortunately, the time lapse was really crap, so let's cut that away. Um, here I have the finished printed model, so I'm just going to remove the support material with my uh, really good technique, which is to, to snap the ends of the of the uh, support base. There you can see. Next up, rinsing. So we're going to rinse the models. Um, just rinse it for around two minutes. So you do all the the thing I and then we want to just put it in here for uh, maybe five or ten minutes. These are really small parts, so, so just below ten minutes. This is the finished part where I cut off the support material with the, with the tweezer. Just a few pieces left on me to repair. After that, we put this in a UV oven. So here you can see, it's a little, it actually looks pretty cool. And after a few minutes in the UV oven, it's complete. So here you can see the, the finished part. It even has the snap locks and everything. And there's a, um, there's, there's, uh, it has the perfect res uh, resistance. I think this is extremely similar to uh, a real HDMI port. It's really difficult to to explain or to, to demonstrate uh, the feel, but if I compare this to, um, as you can see there, there's the small data uh, connector inside as well, it fits perfectly. If I uh, compare it to my uh, computer, it's, it's almost the same feeling. Uh, maybe slightly more resistance in this model, but um, it's hardly noticeable. I'm sure you can measure it, but uh, by hand you don't really notice it. Uh, so thanks guys for watching this video, uh, if you have any questions or suggestions on what to print with either of our machines um, please comment below and if you like these kind of videos just subscribe and you'll see more. Thank you, bye!